what's going on people here with Jack Rants and today I'm gonna to be telling you guys uh, basically about the LG G7 um, or the LG G7 thank you whatever you want to call it well apparently it's back in the news for boot loop issues let's talk about it first of all before we get started before I get any comments down below um, Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to see me pretty much wearing the same thing, and it's because I got some time to kill. So, what I'm going to do uh, tonight, at least as I'm recording these videos, I'm going to make a bunch of videos back to back to back, save them in the can, and upload them as I see fit. Okay? That's just the way it is. I'm going to make some content for ahead of time that way I have content to be released. This video will be released before all of them. So, um, as I'm recording this, um, and as I will upload it, this story will be relevant, of course. But either way, go. I don't have to explain myself. So if you see me, you oh, you're wearing the same thing, you're dirty, yeah, whatever. I am recording a bunch of videos back to back, and it is what it is. So anyway, so the LG G7 Thank You report reportedly has is is having boot loop issues again. What are my thoughts on it? First of all, I am not much of an LG fan. Um, the only LG phones that really caught my attention was the Nexus line. But then again, those are Google devices. The LG G7 and all these other... I almost got the G7 when I bought my Note 9. I almost did. But I just never really been an LG fan. Some about LG I don't like. They, they're... I gotta put this. Their software skin is too heavy. I don't like that, and LG phones have a tendency to overheat. Um, well, not overheat, but they, they, they get hot you know, faster than other devices. I'm not an LG person. That's just my personal opinion. So, LG has had this problem before, okay? I think it was the LG G4. We all remember the LG G4. It had the boot loop problem, and it got way out of hand. Everybody, a lot of people was having it, and, you know, they replaced people's devices. Now, LG also, but they don't really have a good record of customer service. Customer service sells them, they replace it, and from what I hear, a lot of people, you know, their replacements don't come within a timely manner. So, you know, let's take, let's look at LG. So, this happened with the LG G4, a flagship that was released about, what, two or three years ago, and now it's again, it's happening with the LG G7, which I hear is a wonderful device, and I'm not going to take that away from it. Now... Let's take a look at a company like Samsung. I still think a thousand bucks for a phone is too high. However, when the, the the tragedy happened with the Galaxy Note 7, okay, and you know they were under a lot of fire, no pun intended, you know, pretty much, um, they fixed it. Samsung did every major, you know, they took every measure that they could to make sure that they wouldn't enter this problem again. And honestly, besides that one little issue that I did make a video about, we haven't really heard about a Note 9 or any other Galaxy from since the Note 7 explode. I mean, there's been some older models and things of that nature. You may hear about one or two here and there, but we haven't had a massive, uh, you know, a massive outbreak like we have. Now, LG, I really don't know. This right here is kind of... It's it's kind of disturbing because, like I said, LG went through this problem before, and if they're facing it again, they're not in the top five already, and they wonder why they're not in the top five. Well, it's because of problems like this. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and deny and say that LG doesn't make wonderful phones. Me, personally, I haven't used the LG phone since the Nexus 5, okay? Um, maybe even after a little bit after that, but definitely since not the Nexus 5. So... For me to sit here and, you know, say it's a horrible device, I can't do that. Because I'm sure the LG G7 is a wonderful device. But, you know, if they're going through this boot loop problem again, I don't know. You're really going to have customers a hard, you know, they're going to get customers a hard time to trust you. You know, they're already, like I said, they're already not in the top five when it comes to phones and cameras and, and what they sell. Yes, they're, they're a well-known brand. You know, over like you take like OnePlus or whatever the case may be, but honestly, LGs are not selling as much as as much as Apple or Samsung. Even, even OnePlus is starting to creep past LG. So, my overall opinion, my my opinion on this 
if this is really going on, if this and if this is happening again, LG, you got a big problem on your hands. So I don't know. I just thought I would report on this, guys. Let y'all know. Yeah, this is going on. It's crazy. I seen it. It's I don't know. I, I just don't know what to do. So all we can do is wait, see if LG responds, see if more people come out and say there's boot loops going on with their phone, and we'll see how LG handles the situation. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, if this was helpful, informative, or entertaining in any way, leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys think about this. And if you got any questions, comments, or concerns about this or anything else, subscribe if you enjoy the content. Share, tell your friends, all that other good stuff. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Later.